MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game four of the World Series between the American League's Houston Astros and the St. Louis Cardinals. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on MLB Network. Set for what should be a good one. Lineups and first pitch are next. The crowd is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now your 2016 St. Louis Cardinals. And briefly here, a glance at the two starters who'll get the ball here in this one. Now here's a look at the Astros starting lineup. Harold, what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, Matt, this is a pitcher's ballpark. You can hit your best ball, and it's not going to get out of the ballpark. It's going to end up being a flyout. It allows the pitcher to challenge you more. So as a hitter, you have to get out of your mind worrying about the ball not carrying and understanding I'm probably going to get more fastballs than I normally do and be a little more aggressive. Adam Wainwright is the man on the mound for the fourth game of the series. Harold, what do you got? Well, Matt, last outing he pitched eight solid innings. He pitched deep into the ball game, deep enough to get a win. And he's the type of guy that, that will go deep in games for you. So, Matt, I'm looking for that type of performance in this game as well. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Cardinals. And at third base at the hot corner, Matt Carpenter. Great hands to play in on guys and take away that bunt. Tremendous charging and flipping the ball on the run. But I really like him at second, too. He can turn the pivot. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Extra. Second baseman, Jose Altuve. And we're underway as the first pitch is a check swing, but a called strike, 0-1. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. I just couldn't pull that one back in time. It's 0 and 2 now. Here it comes. Swung on and missed. Really fooled in that time for the first out. Well, we all know he's going to get strikeouts when he's on the mound. It's kind of his thing. The key Center for the fielder. offense is to actually Dexter make a work for him, Palmer. so that three-pitch see you later isn't going to help very much. pitch coming from Wainwright sends that one out of play for strike one nothing in one count here it comes skied into straightaway right Lee is under it he's got it and there are two down now Batting third, first baseman, number 30. 
In now, number 30. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Here comes the first pitch. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. and Time to take a look at the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Mike Fillmore. Now, Fillmore's an interesting case. I call him one of those guys that calls the corners. A little wider, but up and down, he's not giving you much. So if you just put a little square up there, that's him. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. A scoreless half inning there from Adam Wainwright. Nothing for the Astros early on. Cardinals come to the plate for the first time on MLB Network. Now a moment here in St. Louis to look at the Cardinals' starting lineup. What's the key to sending fans home smiling tonight, Harold? I'll tell you what, this is one of those pitchers' parks. You come in, you go, uh-oh, I could be 0 for 15 if I don't execute. And how do you execute in a pitcher's park? You throw you outside, take that base hit to right field. Don't try to do too much. You do what he gives you, you take what he gives you, and you move on. Jackie Hillman will be on the mound for game four. Harold, any thoughts? Well, Matt, he's got five pitches, and I love the facts he mixes them well. And we'll just see if he's on today. That means he's throwing strikes with all of them, and he'll have a dominant game if he does so. Well, let's take a look at the Strohs defensively brought to you by Majestic. And, yes, they move players all over the field. They love to shift heavily into the analytics and really apply it to their club. You'll see guys moving all over the field today. Here's Matt Carpenter. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading off for the Cardinals, the third baseman, number 13, Matt Carpenter. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. Right side, defense aligned perfectly. He's got it. He'll take it to the bag himself, and the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. Batting second, left fielder, Aaron Harley. Digging in now, Aaron Harley. First pitch of the at bat and there's one well above the zone for a ball. The 1 0 pitch a change up over the inside corner and then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah stuff stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Now here's the pitch. And this is taken for a cold strike, and he's not in love with that call either. It's one and two now. Ready on one and two. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And the pitch. Left side. Throw gets him two down. Hey, not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. At the plate, Michael Lee first cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. First pitch on its way. Swing and a liner. But this is going to get foul.
He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Weak roller right side. Throw on to first gets him, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. And this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Striding into the box, Gary Cox. He'll be in there to start things out against Adam Wainwright. Gary Cox. Into the windup and the pitch. That's a ball. And that one stayed too That's low, apparently. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Hey. Looks at a sinker on the outside corner. Here it comes on 1 and 1. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Oh, and he gripped that one a bit too tightly as it broke down and just about got him. Hey, that's a good pitch right there. But, you know, as a base stealer, when you're in the box like that, you want to protect your money makers, right? You don't want anything around your knees or your feet. So he was fortunate to get out of the way of that one. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. And this is where he's especially dangerous because if you walk him, he can steal a base on you. But if you lay a fastball in there, he can take you deep, too. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Grounded back up the middle. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. And this is not an easy play where you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Here comes the first pitch. Ball. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. For the shortstop, Peralta. Throw on to first, and Wainwright has it working now. Two away. Batting six. Third baseman, Rich McCready. Into the windup and the pitch. And he just misses with a curveball. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Favorable call in there for a strike. Here it comes on one and one. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. A one two from Wainwright. And a pitch swung on and bounced to Peralta at short. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. One two three go the Astros. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Stepping in, Mark McGuire. He'll start things Third out here in a tie ball game. Mark McGuire.
first pitch of the at bat on its way. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball one and oh. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Ball two now. Well, not a great spot to be in right now. 2 and 0 to a great hitter like this. This is when you really have to pay attention as a pitcher. And if you have good off speed stuff, this might be the time to start mixing in your off speed stuff. Too high. And it's 3 and 0. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3 0 count. Here's the 3 and 0 pitch. Takes a knee high fastball. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Set. Here's the three and two. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And there's the first out. Batting fifth, catcher, Yadier Molina. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. The 0 1. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Bottom of the second here with no score. Tough to lay off, but he's glad he did. It's one and two now. On 0 and 2, you'll sometimes get a guy to chase a fastball out of the zone away or up, but when it's way down like that, it's much easier to lay off because you can tell the ball is moving further away from eye level as it comes in. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Well, this home crowd didn't like this guy in the mound before, but now they really don't like him. He's gotten the faithful all worked up by hitting one of their best hitters early on in this game. And you can bet he's really going to hear it if he comes around to score. First pitch of the at bat in the dirt here and a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. Runners on first with one down. Ball two. Well, you can see what he's trying to do right there. Double play situation. Two balls down in the zone, trying to get that ground ball. Didn't get them to bite at either one. Now he's behind in the count, two and zero. Oh. Hands held high by Peralta. Now the pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner.
a wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. That fastball right there will humble you. He threw it right by him. So now what do you do? You spread out, you use your hands, and try to be as quick as you can when you see that ball get released out of his hand. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3 2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four, anyways. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. In front of the change up there is this is chopped foul at home plate. to hold back but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing and there are two away now a lot of indecision there on that check swing and that's something you see quite a lot on three and two when the difference between striking out and drawing a walk in can be an inch or two it's pretty understandable why guys aren't always aggressive with their swings now batting Peter Borges he takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away Set. Here it comes. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Here comes the 1-0. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Hey, Matt, I like the cold weather strategy. You're probably saying, what's that, Harold? Well, the ball's up. He knows it's not going to carry on this cold night, so now you elevate out of the zone. And you hope they swing at it and get some cheap pop-ups. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Weak grounder back to the mound. Throw in time and the side is retired. One left for the Cardinals. Will move to the third with no score. Now at the plate, Arthur Hargrove. He's the number seven hitter, leading but he's off leading Astros. off the third after the Short first stop. six guys in the Arthur. lineup have been retired Arthur. in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Back on the hill is Wayne right now as he jumps ahead of the leadoff man. Nothing and one. And now pitch on the way. Missed low and inside with it. One and one. Look into Molina. Now the one one. One and two now. Ready to deliver the one and two. And he struck him out. Well, there's the great equalizer, the change of El Cambio. Listen, if you can keep that pitch in your back pocket and pull it out when you need it, like you did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. First delivery to him on the way. Oh. And a curveball that started low and broke lower. Ball one. 
the windup and the 1 0 pitch. And the sinker is over here, and that evens things at one. We're seeing him in an absolute groove out there in the mound right now. Retired seven straight, and mechanically, he looks really consistent and fluid to me. Hit out towards second. And there's the first hit of the game for Houston. Well, there's another hit by him here in the postseason. You talk about impact players. This is how you impact the series, the way he's been swinging the bat. Hellman. Into the box now, Jackie Hillman. And they'll try and play for one here as he gets this one down. And he'll just put it in his pocket. It's an infield single. So definite problems on that last Second play, base. and they'll hit the first baseman Jose for the error. Altuve. Digging in for his second at bat, Jose Altuve. 0 for 1 here in the early going. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Yeah. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Matt, here we are. Double play situation, and everybody knows he's got that sinker. Maybe get a ground ball and get two, right? But he comes with the fastball right there. Now nobody knows what to see. This is going to be an interesting at bat. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. One and one. Now a cut fastball, but that doesn't threaten the zone. It's even at one. Wainwright ready. The one one. Just got a piece up the line. That goes foul. Two strikes on him now. Third inning, no score to this point. Swing and a looper to left. Harley moving in. Kaneko rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he will beat the tag. Safe at the plate. Well, nice job right there. He comes through with the RBI base hit, and now his side now has the lead. Center fielder, Dexter Fowler. Here's Dexter Fowler now, as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. A one count. Here's the pitch. On the ground, up the middle. Fielded cleanly. A step on the bag for one. And now this ball's going to wind up out of play. And that will compound matters even further. So that will go down as an E4, as he certainly had his problems that time at second base. Digging in to try it again. Number 30. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ball one. Well, that's an unusual pitch. He tried to sneak a backdoor cutter. You don't see it very often. He tried to sneak it in there. Almost got it, too. The set and the 1 0 pitch. Now a sinker runs in on him a bit as he's got to step out of the way there. Well, he's got a base open to use right here, and it looks like he might not be afraid to do that by the way he's pitching him. And this one's in the dirt. And he'll keep that runner where he is, but meanwhile, it's 3-0 and now. Ready with the 3-0 pitch. A fastball that finds the outside corner. It'll be interesting if he comes in the zone aggressively again here. With the base open, he doesn't have to. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Breaks his bat as this one's popped up. Carpenter is there for it. And the inning is over. So two runs on two hits. Two costly errors. And one man left on. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Astros two and the Cardinals nothing. Stepping into the box, Alec 
Reyes. Off He'll get us Lewis. going in the home half of Second inning number baseball. three. Alec Reyes. First delivery to him on the way. Curveball that time, not even close. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. You know, sometimes it takes a pitcher a few pitches to get going, but those two pitches weren't even close. Falls behind in the count, 2 0. It's time to start getting locked in. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. Well, knowing the threat this guy poses if he gets on base, I think the next pitch should be a challenge pitch. You don't want to give guys that can run a free chance to cause havoc out there, especially the leadoff guy. Here it comes. And he gets this fastball over back to 3 and 1 now. I really like what he did right there. 2 and 0, oh, he wasn't able to hit the spot he was shooting for. 3 0, oh, he made a better pitch, and now he sits 3 1. Let's see what he does here. A swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. He's set. Here's the three and two, and he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. It looked like this at bat had the makings of a leadoff walk when it started 3-0. So that's a good job not to give in and battle back to earn the strikeout. That's not always easy to do. Standing in now, Adam Wainwright. As he'll take a look at ball one. tailing action there it's one and one Cardinals have been held out of the hit column here grounded to short played on the backhand throw in time at first for route number two third baseman number 13 Matt Carpenter Stepping in and ready for another shot, Matt Carpenter. His guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. Zero. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. Ball one. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. Still a little bit early to be worrying about this, but in a two-run game, a two-out walk right here could at least get the tying run to the plate. And on top of that, there's some pop on that on-deck circle. Here it comes on one and one. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. That pitch is in triple digits. I think he had to take that one because I'm not even sure he saw it. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Down in order go the Cardinals. They're down two to nothing. in once again Gary Cox. he'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth into the windup and the pitch first pitch of the inning misses here to the cleanup man it's one and oh the one and oh delivery 
and he swings and pops it foul behind the plate. And he'll lunge forward to make the catch for the first out. Now batting, catcher. Jason Castro, Jason the catcher, is Castro. in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch coming from Wainwright. First pitch is a sinker for a called strike one. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Nope. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Wainwright ready, the 1 1. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The 1 2 from Wainwright. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes, and the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. So with two gone here in the fourth, let's check out our pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And boy, which of those two numbers leap out at you there? How about the 100? My goodness. Now at the plate, Rich McCready comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here comes the first pitch. And that one stayed up a little high. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Called strike over the outside corner. One and one. Here it comes. Wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's two and one. Fiftieth pitch of the game on its way. Now a pitch runs in on him here, and all he can do is flare one fouled off to the right side. Again, he sends it out of play. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. Arthur Hargrove would be next. Line hard. But this will be a foul ball. Oh, he definitely got away with a changeup right there. He hung that one. But the good news is it got him to pull it foul. Now you come back after him here with another pitch. And another foul ball. The three two one more time. Swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. The next 3 2. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two out base runner. Man, as a pitcher, I can tell you that is so frustrating. He's got two outs, and he wants to get that third out as quickly and painlessly as possible, but that hitter makes him work his tail off, and he still loses him. Settling in now, Arthur Hargrove. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ah. 
And a changeup right down the middle. Cut fastball above the letters of ball and a strike. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. So it's no runs, no hits, no errors, and a runner left on. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Astros two and the Cardinals nothing. Into the box, Aaron Harley. Leading off in the Cardinal fourth. Left fielder, number 16. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. Here it comes, 1-0. And a fastball just a bit up. No strike. Two and zero pitch on the way. Bouncer down the line, but it's foul. Strike one. Ready to deal. Here's the two one. And that changeup didn't tempt anybody and misses for ball three. Here it is on three and one. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Hey, they haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Stepping up to the plate, Michael Lee. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. That's the advantage of having a good two hitter hitting second in your lineup. He knows he's going to get something to hit because they're going to pitch to him. And now here comes the heart of the order. They've got a great opportunity to get on the board here. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Well, it's awful difficult, Matt, to hit when you find yourself down 0 2, but particularly when you haven't even swung the bat yet. Now you're in protect mode and you haven't taken one swing. The 0 2 home. Hard hit down the line. It's in there, and the Cardinals look to have an extra base hit on their first hit of the game. Now that had to feel good because it was one of those that you don't even feel the ball hit your back. Show track tells us he blasted it out there at 115 miles an hour. So yeah, he squared it up about as good as you can. Into the box now, Mark McGuire, and he's looking to make something happen here with two on and nobody out. Well, early in the count, expect him to look for a ball to drive. If he gets two strikes against him, he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up. This game is too close to get greedy. First pitch on its way. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. strike over the outside part of the plate. This is where getting ahead in the count really pays off for you. Now you can get him to chase a pitch, maybe get a ground ball, double play, or a strikeout. Either way, it's going to help the cause. No runs, just one hit, and two errors to this point for the Cardinals. 
and a neck high fastball that time. Well, it looks like he tried to waste one and get him to chase it. He didn't, but you're still sitting pretty. Now you want it to, and you showed him the high fastball. Working for the punch out and the offering. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. He's not going to feel good about that at bat, nor should he. You have to want to swing the bat, but he just stood there and looked at four straight pitches. Hopefully, we'll see him get a little bit more aggressive next time. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina, as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. And maybe a little extra motivation for him here after being hit by a pitch in his first at-bat. The 0-1 pitch. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. No runs, just one hit, and two errors to this point for the Cardinals. Slapped hard the opposite way. Catch made here in medium deep right center, and the runners breaking from third. And they are on the board as the run scores from third to cut the lead to 2-1 now. Boy, this one looked like it was headed for extra bases off the bat. Instead, a line drive bullet caught in the alley, but he does end up getting a sacrifice fly. Here's Johnny Peralta now. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Ready with the 0-1. Way in front of that fastball. There's another swing and strike on a fastball. He's got a nice fastball working. Great pop on it. And he's keeping it high in the zone. They're going to have to lay off that if they want to have any success. Because you keep chasing it, they're going to keep swinging and missing. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And a curveball that time that broke too low. Tried to get him to chase that 0-2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. The man on third with two down. And this is fouled at the plate. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Now another one two. Another one sent foul. Well that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Cards forced to settle for one. On to the top of inning number five we go. Houston leads this one two to one. Ready for another chance? Leading Kevin for the Kaneko. He'll start right things out as we begin the Kevin fifth. Kaneko. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he lays off there 1 and 0. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. A knee high sinker, tough pitch, strike one. Look into Molina, now the 1 1. Down the third baseline. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Well, here he goes again. Here's that guy, a leadoff base hit. He's having a Up nice postseason. He is really Pepper. locked in right now. Jackie Hellman.
In now, Jackie Hillman. Now a bunt attempt here, and they'll just tag him out along the first base line. Hey, sacrifice was in order right there as he Second gets baseman. the bunt down right there. Jose and sometimes Altuve. it's easier to just tag him instead of making that throw to first base. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve, as the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Here it comes, 1 0. Now a half swing here as he wanted to pull it back, but he does so too late. It's strike one. Fifth inning, 2 to 1 our score. Very weakly on the ground. Foul ball, strike two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. In the dirt here. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Well, he has nobody to blame but himself. With one out, a runner on third can come home to score all sorts of ways. That's why, as a pitcher, you have to execute pitches even better when there are runners on base. A man at third with one away. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. And here with the infield back, they were giving him the run on a ground ball, so he just takes advantage of that and drives the run home. Good approach. Here's Dexter Fowler now. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Two out, nobody on. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Astros three and the Cardinals one. Here's Peter Borges standing in. Off He's 0 for 1 thus far. Center fielder. Peter Borja. First offering on its way. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Now the pitch. Yeah. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. They can't afford to continue to fall back any further. They got to get something going on the offensive side. Somebody's got to step up, give a big hit, maybe even a home run, drop a bunt, do something. But this offense has to get going. Cutter oh, misses, and it's three and one. Check that two and one. Gets the sign. Here comes the two one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Set. Here's the three one inside as he nearly got him, and it's ball four. That is not the way he wanted to start off this half inning. It? It's one thing Second to walk the leadoff front. hitter. But it's Alan. even more painful Reagan. when the leadoff hitter is an absolute burner and he can really wreak some havoc on the bases. Now in the box, Alec Reyes comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame.
from the stretch. Takes a knee high fastball. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. And this one's in the dirt. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to 1-1. One and one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. On the ground is short. This could be two. Altuve for the one. On to first, and they get the double play. But boy, was he uh, ever upended at second base. Boy, and that's a great play there at short. He's forced to go to the backhand and then pivot on that right leg to throw against the momentum of his body. These guys make it look easy. That's one you can definitely launch into right field if you're not under control. Into the box, Adam Wainwright as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Ready to deal. Here's the one one. A swing and a miss on a ball that jammed him. Here's the pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now on two and two, but boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. Two and two count. Here it comes. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. They still trail it here three to one. Your Seth Maness takes over to now start the sixth the inning on the mound. Number 61. Seth Maness. Digging in to try it again. Number 30. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Number 30. Line drive to left. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a 1 for 3 game so far. So the leadoff man's aboard in their half of the 6th inning. Oh, oh a nice piece of hitting. Throw. He reached for it and well, stayed fielder. with it. The ball was executed. Catcher set up outside. He hit the glove. But the batter hit the ball before it hit the glove. Now some stirring in the Cardinal bullpen as the right-hander Jason Mott has begun throwing. Stepping in now, Gary Cox. And he'll take a look at his strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. One, here's the pitch. Leaves a slider up high, but it's taken for a strike. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you can get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it into the dirt and turn one over for you. Oh. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Oh, and this just jumps off the bat here as this is to deep straightaway right field. And you can pretty much forget about this one. That is a long home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. His third home run of this series as they stretch the lead to 5-1.
well. They were smart not to challenge him with a fastball, but it didn't matter. He's their big dog for a reason, so he waited, stayed back, and absolutely exploded through the zone on that one. Now batting, Jason Castro, Castro the catcher, Jason is in Castro. as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Base is empty here with nobody out. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. Hard sinker misses two and two. Sinker three and two now. Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2 in that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close he had this guy in the ropes but now he let him right back into this at bat and this is fouled back and out of play another full count pitch home liner towards second but this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out third baseman number three Rich McCready. Ready for another chance. Rich McCready. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. A breaking ball taken on the inside corner. That pitch right there just locked him up. A curveball that doesn't break. A little front door curveball. You're looking for it to go back out over the plate, and it doesn't. It just locks you up as a hitter. A wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Hey, it's not that easy to make a good hitter look that bad, but that's what happens when you can bring that fastball and ride it in on the inner half of the plate right there. You can get some pretty ugly swings. Into the box now, Arthur Hargrove. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. No hits to this point. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. In there, one and two now. We are watching him reach back and just challenge it with the fastball. Now we got a one two count, and that's three fastballs in a row. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Hit out towards second to his right, Reyes. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Astros plate two on the two run home run. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's the Astros five and the Cardinals one. Here's Matt Carpenter. We'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced? Other than it's been fantastic. We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. A fastball that just misses inside. Here comes the 1 0. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Now batting. Left fielder, Aaron Harley. Ready for another shot now. Aaron Harley. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far.
He's set and the pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. You know, he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally, so we'll see if he can spark one here. Here it comes, 1 0. Oh. Chopped weakly to the left. Hargrove is up with it. Pro gets him, two down. Now batting, right fielder, Michael Lee. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Michael Lee, he doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. One oh count, here it is. And that one stayed up a little high. Two balls, no strike. We're in the sixth inning now of a five to one ball game. Here's a swing, and oh man! Way out of here! So a solo shot down the line in left. His first homer so far in the series. And it's now a 5-2 game. That one definitely seems worth taking a look at with show track. It wasn't a particularly deep home run, but as you can see, he connected pretty well. 110 miles an hour off the bat, and it got out of here in a hurry. Now batting, first baseman, Mark McGuire. Standing in now, Mark McGuire. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Softly on a line to third. And a high throw, but he's able to keep anchored on the bag at first, and that ends the inning. Cardinals do get one back on the solo home run. Eight, nine, and top of the order coming up to start the seventh. It's now five to two. Welcome back to Bush Stadium here in St. Louis. Game four is off to the seventh inning now, but before we get it started, let's check out our game summary to this point. Carlos Martinez is on to now pitch from the bullpen the now to start inning number, number seven. 62, Carlos Martinez. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Kevin Kaneko. A couple of singles to his right credit fielder, thus far. Kevin Kaneko. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. And a changeup right down the middle. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Line toward right center. In for a look is Borges, but this gets down a base hit. Three for three on the night. He's feeling good right now. You know, I watched him hit earlier in batting practice. He looked terrific. He just carried that over to the game. Over. 
Into the box, Jackie Hillman. And she'll square around to bunt, then pull back for ball one. Well, I like that right there. Pulling the bat back, you still got to bunt a strike. That's the one trap that bunters fall into. They think they got to bunt anything. It's not a squeeze bunt. You still have to bunt a strike. The 1 0 delivery. Now a bunt attempt here. Peralta for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. Oh, that's the last thing you want to happen when you're trying to bunt a guy into scoring position. He got it down, but you have to deaden the ball, too. Otherwise, these infielders just eat it up and turn it into a double play. Cardinals are going to get something going in the bullpen now as a left-hander has begun to get loose. Stepping in now, Jose Altuve. Check swing grounder to the right side. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. On to the bottom of the seventh. Get up and stretch here in St. Louis. The Astros lead it 5-2. to two. Striding in once again, Yadier Molina. He'll start things out here in the bottom of inning number seven. First pitch coming, here it is. A curveball that catches the inside corner. He's really done a remarkable job considering the fact that he's thrown the first pitch strike to less than half the guys in the lineup. He's under 50% right now, and that's usually not a recipe for success. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Swing and a liner. Foul. Soft liner toward first, but an easy play there at first as that becomes the first the out first of the inning. Number 27, Johnny Peralta. Digging in once again, Johnny Peralta. Been a strikeout victim twice in this one. First pitch on its way. That's a ball. And a curveball that started low and broke lower. Ball one. Here it comes, 1-0. Oh. And he just misses with a curveball. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him at this at bat. Much more patient and he's gotten himself into a good hitter's count. Dribbled up the line. In time to first, and there are two away. Now batting. Center fielder, Peter Borges. Ready once again, Peter Borges. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now the Astros have somebody up in the bullpen as a right-hander has started to warm up out there. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. 5-2 our score as we play inning number seven. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss just one behind one. a lively Three fastball. Three. The 1-2 pitch. Grounder down the line at third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at 1-2. Two out, nobody on. Fooled him a bit as this is hit high in the air towards right center and shallow. Kaneko is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. They trail 5-2.
Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Kevin Segrist will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. John Jay is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. Number 19, John. Digging in the switch hitter, Dexter Fowler. He'll start things out for us here in inning number eight. Cold strike at the letters, 0 and 1. Tell you what, this is the wrong guy to float around with. He's been swinging about really good in this series, and he hasn't got a hit in this game yet. But I'm going to tell you what, I, I wouldn't mess with him. The wind up and the 0 1. Way in front of that fastball. Boy, that's a tough two seamer to hit right there. Usually that two seamer will start in on the hitter and tail away, but that one started at the middle of the plate and broke off. Uh-oh, look out now. And Fowler swings and misses as he's retired for round number one. Time to bring you up to date on the now numbers for our two starters. Number it's our 30. starter comparison, and the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits, as you can see by the left side of your screen. Digging in and looking for more, number 30. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. Pitch on the way. And 2 and 0 now as this misses below the knees. We're in the eighth inning now of a 5 to 2 ball game. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. Ooh, that was a good pitch to hit. He wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even a two and two. Into the windup, here comes the two two pitch. Look out, don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. One out, nobody on. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. Gary Cox will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. Here comes the first pitch. A pitch out. The throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. So he swipes second despite the pitch out. Yeah, it seemed like everyone in the building knew he was going to be running there, right? Didn't make a difference, though. He got a great jump and absolutely burned it down to second to get in safely. One out and a runner on second base. And now after the stolen base, they'll go ahead and put him on here to keep the double play in order with one away. That's what's called getting the treatment. Everyone knows he's a power threat with the bat, so it's all about not letting him be the guy that beats you. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. First pitch of the at bat. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. This is a critical point right here. Things are in danger of getting away from him a little, so we'll see how he deals with it. The one and oh delivery. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Runners are at first and second with one away. In the dirt here, 
Runners may have thought about it but they'll stay put and the count moves to two and one. Ready with two balls and a strike. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Well that change up right there sets up a lot of things. Now the count's two and two. He can come back in with a fastball and it's going to look like it's moving a little bit better. Or he can go back to that change up. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Got him. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So, a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Into the box now, Rich McCready as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Hit down the third baseline. But that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. Here it comes, 0 and 2. And the changeup is way low that time. Two strikes on the hitter and two outs. I like this. You got to get this out here. You don't want them to drive in a run and you go down four. You keep it at three, you still got a chance to break it open and win on a big inning. Set to deal on a ball and two strike. Swung on and hit in the air down the left field line. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Number 36 enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 36. Now to the plate, Alec Reyes. He'll have a new pitcher waiting for him as we begin their Second half of the eighth. Alec Reyes. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Two and zero. Oh, here it is. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and zero. Oh. Well, this is still a tight ball game, Matt, but this is a big at bat. You got the leadoff guy up. He's got three balls on him now. He's got to work to get on base. This is where on base percentage counts. He's set. Here's the 3 0. Right over the middle, knee high. Now the pitch. Oh, he got under the 3 1 a bit as this is in the air out to right. Kaneko is over a few steps as he puts it away for the first out. The center fielder, number 19, Sean Shea. In now is John Jay, and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. First offering on its way. A breaking ball taken on the inner corner. Look, Matt, they're down three in the eighth inning. Take a pitch, get hit by a pitch. You got to get base runners. Manufacture right now is the time because you only got six outs to play with. Here comes the 0-1. Now a late yeah. bunt attempt here, but he misses strike two. Here's the pitch. A little oh, bit off the outside. It's one and two. Bases are empty. One man out. This one's flared out toward left. Cox posts under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. 
third baseman number 13 Matt Carpenter here's Matt Carpenter two away here in the eighth and time's running out on him Danny yeah they don't have a lot of outs left to work with so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. He's ready. Here's the first offering. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Hey, when one of your better pitches is the straight changeup, you can't be afraid to throw it at any count and at any time. And hey, first pitch, if they're going to take it for strike one, they're going to give it to you. Go ahead and throw it. And oh, look out as he has to hop out of the way of the fastball there. Bases are empty here with two men out. Rounded back up the middle. Hargrove is right there. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Down in order go the Cardinals. And the deficit remains 5-2. to two. The gateway arch lit up at night here in St. Louis. Welcome back to our broadcast Your on MLB way. Network. Jason now Mott for the enters from the pen to start Number the ninth 30. inning as he'll try to Chase keep the down. score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. So striding in, Arthur Hargrove. He'll be charged with Drop trying stop. to get on board Arthur leading off the ninth. Hargrove. Hit hard towards second. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. He takes the turn and heads for second. And the Astros get something started right away. It's a leadoff double. That was a pretty good fastball, and it now almost got by him. But right he's fielder. able to slap it in the gap Kevin. in the right center Kevin field. Echo. Because of the velocity off the bat, the outfielders couldn't cut it off in time and allowed him to cruise into second really easy. Cardinals get the bullpen started here as a right-hander's up and warming. In now, Kevin Kaneko. Bat shatters as this is on the ground at first. A runner at second, nobody out. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Good lead off a second there, now the pitch. Hot shot on the ground is short. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Those jump throws are always some of the most exciting plays you'll Number see. 36. So here it is again with show track. Shows off some great range, and it's still somehow able to get a lot behind the throw as his momentum was taking him the other way. Not everybody can make that play. Your Kevin Grant. Please. We'll get a chance with a runner Houston. in scoring position Number here as he'll pinch hit now with one Kevin away. Grant. Now a spin and a throw back to second. Runners back. Takes strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Runner at second here with one man out. Pickoff move to second, and the runner will get back standing. Oh one, here's the pitch. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now. Oh and two. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. And a neck-high fastball that time. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. He 
He's set. Here's the 2 2. Shin high fastball that time, ball three. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a lot of pitches too. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Hit hard on the ground to short. Peralta's up with it. Throw gets him, two down. Now batting. Second baseman, Jose Altuve. So a runner at second, two down now. And striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Two out here and a runner at second. And he won't bite at that point either. It's 2 0. Oh. That was two very good takes. I mean, those pitches are just right there, nibbled on the corners, just missed, but he had the patience to lay off him. A little bouncer. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Here's Dexter Up Fowler for now. Intro. 0 for 4 with Center a strikeout thus far. Dexter Fowler. Throw over to first. Just keeping him close. Here comes the first pitch. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Well hit the other way again. It's into the gap. In to score, the runner from third. Altuve rounds the corner and is headed home. And he will score as well. And that's a big at bat there as they've broken this one wide open. And this is just a cut fastball. He's trying to sneak in the back door. He's unable to get it done. Leaves it right over the heart of the plate. And that's just too easy for a guy like this. He's licking his chops as the ball arrives. And he drills it to the outfield for an extra base hit. Into the box, number 30. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Oh. He's working on a 1-for-3 thus far. Here it comes, 1-0. And, oh. and that's off his leg on the mound. Joe Kelly takes over now, now with two gone here in the fielder, top of inning number nine. Cox, your attention please. Now pitching for the Cardinals, number 58, Joe Kelly. Gary Cox will be the first one to greet him now as he'll do so with runners at the corners and two out in the inning. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that one right down Main Street. Runners on first and third, two away. Now a throw over to first, back in standing. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Swing and a liner, but foul. <laughs> and 
And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. Okay, so now is where I think you pull the string, throw the El Cambio up there. Hasn't seen it yet, and I think he's set up for it right here. Runners at the corners, two men out. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Well, he tried to get a little cute right there, a little two-strike changeup. He thought he might get a swing and miss, but man, he left that in the zone. He's fortunate that ball didn't leave the park. He'll try again, one, two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Well, one thing about him, he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. set to deal on two and two outside in a full count three and two all right three two count with two outs the runner on first will be moving so we'll see what happens there are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play seventh pitch of the at bat coming up good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one Hit hard to the right side, but foul, so we'll see if he can straighten that out. From the belt, kicks and deals. And there's strike three, so we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. So it's two runs on four base hits, no errors, and a couple of men left on. Two, three, and four set to kick off the bottom of the ninth. The Astros on top, seven to two. You're Matt Albert, a six foot now one inch right hander, will be the one to get the Number call from the bullpen here. Matt Albert. Striding into the box, Aaron Harley. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Now the Aaron Astros are going to get Harley. a left-hander up and cranking out in the bullpen. And a ball, 1-0. Oh. One and O pitch on the way. Tap down the line. But it gets foul. He's set. Here comes the one one. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and it backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. First offering on its way. Michael Lee comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And that nope. sinker misses at the shoe tops. Ball one. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. One out, nobody on. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. the zone it's gone full now to three and two 
Here comes the payoff pitch. Now here's your check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing. So that's ball four. Now batting. First baseman. Oh, man, that check swing was about as close as they get. Tough call for the umpire, but it goes the batter's way this time, and he draws the walk. Stepping in now, Mark McGuire, as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. A ball and no strikes, here it is. Sharp slider that time, just missed inside. Now he finds himself down 2 and 0. It looks like he's just distracted. This is the advantage of having a guy on first base who can run. Here it comes, 2 and 0. Line foul up and over the Cardinal dugout. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And he gets a piece there and chops it foul at home plate as the count moves to 2 and 2 now. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Line towards center field. Fowler is there, and there are two men gone now. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now batting number four, catcher Yadier Molina. Bernard Chavez will make an appearance here as he is in charge of trying to ring up the final Bernard out of the ball game. Chavez. Yadier Molina will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. First pitch on its way. And that pitch catches the inside corner. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Cox has a read on it. Makes the catch. And that's the ball game. Hey, anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win. But they did just that. And, fellas, when you're on the big stage here at the World Series, you want to make sure you bring the A game. And this man right here certainly did. He's our top player of the game. And, Maddie, I think you're absolutely right. Some guys just seem to thrive under the bright lights of the World Series while other guys fade into the background. He was brilliant in this one, and this is some well-earned recognition.
And this evening's ends at a 7-2 finish. The Astros move a win away from a championship as they've taken a 3-1 series lead. So that's a wrap here tonight. Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, thanking you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Have a great night. Fans, our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros. Seven runs on ten hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For St. Louis, two runs on just two hits. Two errors. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 16 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Bush Stadium. A sellout of 46,000. The Cardinals would like to thank you for joining us in baseball heaven and remind you to please drive home safely. Have a good night.